business meeting over, off to the lake. But first we've got to use our Australian sat nav, so how do we do that? G'day, it's a great day for it. Stick with me and we'll be there before the first snags off the barbie. So, we're getting close to the entrance to Bray Lake Water Sports. There we go. Welcome. You have reached your destination. Windows up, grab those sunnies and don't let the seagulls steal your chips. Great. Open the barriers for us. Here we go, Bray Lake. Mind the cyclist. About to try out our usual spot. Our base. So, Dick's parking his car. I'll park mine. Try not to bump into him. There we go. Good eye. So, these guys are in charge. So, that's. Eric's boat 12 and the Dickies just got out. So we've got the usual bits, Snoopy, the GPS logger and all the other bits. And we've got the Mobius camera on that boat now. And Dick's now, this is the difficult one to get out. I don't know whether he needs a hand with it. It's tricky, isn't it? No, no, all right. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. And Peter is setting up his receiver gear. Right, so we're we gonna do that. It was all hurriedly put together last night. This is equipment just for test. GPS locker, recording the position every second. Text to speech. That sounds right, 0.0. .0. And this is in order to interface extra equipment which is at the top here which is pizza's train Bray Lake on here what's the day and the date is it Wednesday yes Wednesday the 16th of August 2017 our visitor Peter with some extra kit which we'll see a bit of in a minute Dick right all the usual bits which I point out. Uh, the first boat is Eric's boat 12, GPS logger, autopilot, but this has got the Australian Micromite autopilot. So we'll see, this is the first time it's had a sail. And we're also gonna put the video camera on that boat. And that's been programmed just to go out to the first waypoint and back. Now, this has got some more kit on it. It's all the usual stuff. Snoopy the Viking. Navigation like solar panels to keep it all working. Equipment for tests. FM transmitter so we can hear on the training radio what the computer's saying. That's the air, that's the receiver. Yeah. And comes down to there. Oh right. So you probably can't read it there because of the reflections, but everything that the computer's speaking with a text-to-speech, it's also displaying as text. So I can see there, 14.04 and 10 seconds, target alpha 97 meters at 217 degrees, GPS course 65, speed 0, 0.0. That's because GPS will always give a direction, even if it's not moving. And here we go. Dick is about to launch. That will also, Probably, 
Right, that's working then, is it? Is, that the, is the video running, do you think? <laughs> oh, typical, he's got a phone call now. It's probably his wife chasing him up. Yeah, I'm just on the bank, on the lake yeah. side, about yeah. to launch a boat. He's about to launch a boat. Here we go. This is what you call multitasking. Right. We can probably listen in to what he's saying on the phone. Wherever you, like. you like, Dick. Right, there it goes. Right, there it goes. Is it going to go the right direction? Oh, no, it didn't. Steer right by 152. Oh, okay. Is that okay, Dick? I know where to go. 30 is out 91 meters at 227 degrees to our southwest. Is it going to go the right direction? Uh, no. Whoa, no, it didn't. <laughs> oh, hang on, no, no, he says, it's okay, Dick, I know where to go. There you go. What are you panicking about, he says. <laughs> there we go. Now, this is a first. Come on. Right, we've got an Australian nav system here. The Micromite computer. This is the first time we've tried sailing it. Bit of getting stuff set up there. They're getting ready to launch. And boat 12 with the Micromite is going off much as many boats have done when they're trying to go directly upwind because we have wind pretty well from the south and quite a blow so it's not going to be easy and the good thing is that we've got a change of tack by boat 12 so it's coming back across wind so that's good all right are you guys ready okay when you like then, Dick. Yeah. Going to be difficult for both of them because they're going pretty well upwind. The wind's out from over there, roughly where the paddle border is. So they've both got a tack and they've got no special tacking logic. It can't uh, achieve much that way but how did the other boat get going? Oh well I, 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 the one that's testing out new stuff with the blue sails, the uh, boat 12, oh, that's done brilliantly there. yeah. Uh, they're both trying to do the same thing. Oh, it's getting going now. It, yeah. That's not, that's not bad going directly into the wind. Look at, look at, exactly. the, look yeah. at the flag there. Yeah. And it's, can, it's, yeah. it's sailing almost directly into the wind there. Yeah. Look, look at yeah. That. yeah. They've always done pretty well before, but they do struggle. The flag on the top as well, so it yes. indicate more clearly what it's doing. Right, that's boat 11 for the 2017 micro transmit sat attempt by Team Joker. And that's our experimental boat, Eric's boat 12, and everything in it is rather new, but we know the boat works well. And it's got a Micromite from Australia steering it. And the software in that was only thrown together last night. But this is why you need tapping logic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.